Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. In case you didn't realize, again, there's no clubhouse here, and the layout of this place is exactly the same, so you'll know exactly where to go when you eventually go to it. Anyway, let's play some golf! And this tournament here, actually this course, is where the game starts getting a little bit harder, so you're gonna have to plan your shots a whole lot better. Thank you very much. Let's get the game going. You're welcome. And again, we'll never see these other three players in this entire tournament ever. <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, there's a lot of breaks in the green. There's a lot of sand. There's a lot of waste area. Waste area is like rocks and all sorts of other junk that you don't want to get into. It's a terrible lie, but uh, I'm probably not going to hit in there unless I'm trying to like do... Oh, I hit the cactus, but <laughs> but I am... Uh, unless I'm trying to go for a green and two on a par five or something like that, I probably won't hit in the waste area because most of the edges of things are semi-rough. So yeah, you got to be relatively far off to get in the waste area. Uh, I'm not saying that I won't ever get into the waste area, but chances are I, I won't be, basically. And there's also rough around the edges as well, so you don't have to worry about that. So it basically plays relatively same as uh, other courses, as long as you have uh, a decent amount of accuracy going on. And... I was hoping for the chip in. <laughs> that would have been nice on the first hole, but nope, not gonna happen. Just gonna have to settle for a boring par. <laughs> That was my own fault because I, again, wasn't really watching my lie and ended up short, and yeah. Really, really gotta pay attention to my lie a lot better here. On the T, I don't have to, because T is always gonna be 98 100, but the fairway can be different, the rough can be different. Always gotta watch for that stuff, and that's gonna mean that, yeah, unfortunately, semi rough. Um. You know, this might not be too bad, actually, because I got a lot of green to work with here. And, uh, let's see how this goes. I hit it with more power than what it looks like because, yeah, the semi-rough is gonna, most likely gonna cut it off. And make this putt for birdie, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And by the way, we should probably see who the other competitors are here. Uh, Tiny is in here, you know, the club champ, the big driver guy. Um, yeah, I... Andros. <laughs> How does he play golf? I don't know. I suppose his, his hands can float and whatnot. Um, anyway, let's get going. Yeah! Got my impact going a lot better here this part. So hopefully I won't have to worry about uh, losing power shots. I do believe, by the way, this course is the longest course in the game. So, uh... Be careful of that. That You, you won't uh, really think that... I mean, you really want to get your ball out there as far as you can on your drives because you want to have the best shot of getting on the green in two. Uh, not here though, this is a par five, so you don't necessarily expect to get on here in two unless you have a long drive, but yeah. Um, in, in my case, it doesn't really matter that I ended up in the rough there because I'm just going to end up being on the green in three here and then making my putt for birdie. Well, maybe, I don't know, that's a kind of awkward leave. Um... Um, 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 um. I'm just gonna leave the cursor there. It looks like it's breaking in both directions. I was correct, and I should say it was breaking in both directions at an equal rate. Uh, let's see if I can get this up near the hole. A little backspin on this, and see if we can make birdie on this as well. This looks good. Oh yeah, I think I can make that. Although I got a side hill break here, which is awkward because I don't know when it's gonna stop breaking in the putt. Uh, I'm gonna say there, and there we go! Yeah! We're on a roll now! Um, even though that this course looks very dry, it actually plays physics-wise, all like the, all the other ones, so yeah. Uh, I just thought I would mention that in case you are thinking that the desert course would be faster or something like that than other courses, but no, doesn't seem to be. Um, let's, I guess I'll hit my ball there, and no, I won't put any backspin on it because the the lie of this will most likely uh, cut off the power that I need it to cut off. And uh, yeah, that look, there we go. Well, maybe I should have put a little backspin on it. That's all right. We are good. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, no, 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 not the sandwich. Not the sandwich. I want to put this. Um, I'm gonna hit it at max. 
And it should go... Oh, man, so close. <laughs> well, that's another power under my belt. Unfortunately. <laughs> Three birdies, two pars. This is not the rate that I would prefer. <laughs> Obviously, because this is Mario Golf. Uh, but chances are I'll make a score that's good enough to uh, Womp Tiny's final score of this. Because he's, the, he's always the one that comes in uh, first place if you don't. So, yeah. Uh, that looks pretty good right there. Let's hit it at max. And see it fly. Will it go in the hole? No, it's not. <laughs> that was close, though. Let's hit it about there. I moved it a little bit to the right. Just a little bit, not all that much because there was a little bit of a break there. I just wanted to make sure that I would hit the center of the cup to give myself the best chance of getting it in. Mm, okay... Mm, I'm playing this round kind of fast here. <laughs> I'm already on the seventh hole, I'm only in seven minutes or so on this part, maybe less, I'm not sure actually. Uh, I would say maybe about seven minutes now, but yeah. <laughs> seems awfully fast, so I might play like maybe 13 holes rather than uh, 9 holes or something like that, and then on the next hole, I mean on the next part, uh, fill the rest with uh, mini games and whatnot. Mm, not enough power! Nope! Nope! Gotta get it there, PK Gam! Yeah, <laughs> it's up. Uh, let's see here. How about it's about at that angle? Now, I've seen the uh, particular spot away from the hole I was hitting before I went into the zoom screen, so I know about where it's gonna land. Yep, that's what I thought. I, I couldn't land it too short because, you know, bunker and all. <laughs> so I played it for uh, a relatively easy putt. Uh, I'm gonna try about there. I think that's too much. Oh, man! <laughs> yeah. I should have hit two notches back or so. Not another par! No! No! <laughs> no! I should be in first place by now! <laughs> uh, oh shoot, lost the power shot. Um, on this hole, if you have a high enough drive, you can hit the island over to the right side, but I don't. At least I don't think I do. It's to be able to hit it consistently and safely enough, so I'm just gonna, you know, whack it over to that side. I'm gonna try and curve the ball onto the green by making, by changing my shot into a fade. Uh, actually, maybe I won't be able to. I'll probably just aim for the fairway here. Uh, oh shoot! Why didn't I cut off my power and just hit with a three wood? Arg! <laughs> oh no! I think I'm gonna be behind a cactus. Uh, oh no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, those cacti, or cactus, as I said, I'm not sure of the plural offhand, is uh, the, what kind of prevented me on the last shot from aiming directly towards the pin. But that was kind of the point of their placement, because, you know, it's it's a par 5. They're trying to give you some challenge in making the green in 2, basically. Uh, oh, 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 I believe you get that excellent prompt whenever you get within 3 feet or something like that, I think. Something, maybe, could be, might be, at the turn, let's go, because I'm playing really fast today, I guess, for some reason. <laughs> I'm just blasting balls out there, like no one's business, and I'm hitting them with relatively decent accuracy. Maybe the reason why I'm uh, doing that is because I'm playing without thinking too much. Maybe, could be, might be, and I think that's going to end up being a little bit short, because I didn't hit it at max max power, yeah, that's what I thought. Plus, the, the lie didn't help me all that much there, but anyway, it's alright, it's alright. We can just make this chip shot. Actually, I'm not expecting to make this chip shot, but <laughs> I made the chip shot! <laughs> alright! <laughs> and now I'm in first place, there we go! That looks... Looks more like uh, what the scoreboard should be like. Um, let's hit it about there, hit backspin. Increasing the height will also make the wind take the ball a little bit more. You know, push the ball in the wind's direction a little bit more. So yeah, that's why I aim that much further left than I would have normally. Um, let's 
try and get this one in as well. I'm not I'm not counting on this one either. <laughs> this just would be funny. Oh come on! <laughs> I I don't really have much more to say about the just luck is on my side now. <laughs> wow, that's just unbelievable. <laughs> Whew! That wow. <laughs> And just to think that this course is getting... I mean, the course is right here is harder than the Palm Club, too, and I'm still uh, making some good shots, and I forgot to check the green for uh, uh, its break and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure the, the green slopes in that direction of the center, and oh my god! <laughs> yeah. The idea is to sort of kind of put your ball around the center of the green, uh, because the break will always be uphill to the pin then, wherever it is. And, you know, as I said, uphill putts are easier than downhill putts, so... Yeah, so that's all I typically aim for, that spot on the green. Uh, that's because instinct took over. <laughs> Just aimed for where I knew it would work. Oh, jeez, this is... I might be in the waste area this time. <laughs> waste area has a terrible lie, too, because it's so unpredictable. But, uh, let's put it... Oh, wow. Wow! Eagle putts! Can I? No, wait, that's not high enough. That's, there's a lot of break there. Um, yeah! There we go! <laughs> Let's see our scorecard here. Um, maybe I'll just finish this round this part. This is going so fast. <laughs> I... Maybe the reason why I was taking... 10 or so minutes per 9 holes was because I, I was explaining stuff and whatnot, and now I, I've got pretty much everything down, I can just go into autopilot. Oh no 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 no, I can't go into autopilot here, that's... that's not gonna be pretty. Because <laughs> I'm gonna try and curve my ball right to left here, when I see the bottom right corner there, and run it up to the pin, that's not bad. I'm gonna putt that, even though I'm pretty far off the green here, just aim a little bit left. And it should be predictable enough to get up there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> the break really took that. I thought it was high enough to avoid that completely, but I guess not. Oh, well. That's all right, I guess. Sometimes the pixels lie to me. <laughs> I'm not going to put any backspin on this. I'm just going to hit it to the hole, expecting that the wind is going to cut it off the amount that I need it to. And there we go. That's a pretty nice layup. I mean, a uh, um, pretty nice shot or not not layup. I can't think of the thing. Leg? No, not leg. Eh, approach, I guess I'll say. <laughs> hmm, let's put it about there. I think this isn't going to get up the slope. I think it's, the slope is going to push my ball back down uh, to the fairway, but that's no big deal. I just want to see where it goes. Yeah, it's just going to end up uh, right at the edge of the slope there. And let's see. I'm gonna hit it like that, but cut off the power by pressing down on the control pad. And hey, the sound effect of my ball is gone. <laughs> what? It just sounded weird there. The ball is flying with no. You know that sound. You've heard it many, many shots before. There we go. <laughs> 17th hole. And let's put it around the fairway. Hopefully, and as you've seen, there is a patch of land off to the left side there, which might help you hit the green in two, but I I wouldn't really count on it with a character of this low of a drive, unless you have a character with a higher drive than this. Uh, because there's a lot of carry over out of bounds, and stuff can go wrong very easily. So yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe and over to the right here. Not gonna do anything special here, just get her on the fairway. And then I'll go for the approach, and aim for birdie. Okay? Okay. If my character had higher drive, I'd definitely go for its green in two, but this is uh, one of the longer par fives of the course. There we go! <laughs> and birdie, birdie, birdie! Yeah! <laughs> and one more hole to finish off the round. This went by so fast. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 don't hit there. There's... There's a few. There's a cactus there too. <laughs> That'll get in the way of the ball. I'll aim to the right of them. Woo! 
Almost... The, the instinct almost failed me there. Alright, let's plop it, maybe... About there... No, wait, no backspin, I just noticed the lie. Now, I keep, I keep forgetting to look at the lie on the fairway, because the fairway can have some variables, too. Mm, there we go, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna aim a notch or so to the left, and hopefully I hit that with enough power. There we go! And that finishes off the round! Let's see all the birdie badges I got! <laughs> that back 9, pretty strong! Not a bad score, 14 under par. Oh yeah! And of course I'm gonna get a bunch of level ups here because of the tourney win plus my pretty decent score there. Uh, increased drive... I'll, I guess I'll plunk up the meat area and control as well. And let's watch the ceremony! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Oh yeah! Woo! That was... Uh, there's actually no reason to celebrate, that was pretty easy. <laughs> I mean, did you see the final score in my closest competitors? Did you? <laughs> it was like... Tiger Woods in his prime. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Thank you very much. I most certainly will.